morning everyone happy saturday it is january 23rd which is so weird because it feels like we just started the new year i say that every single month but happy saturday happy weekend um it's 9 27 right now so almost 9 30 and i've been awake for a while actually i was planning to sleep in today and then i woke up at 7 15 laid in bed for a little bit and couldn't go back to sleep so i was like i'll just go ahead and start my day which i'm really glad i did because for one i had like a nice relaxing morning and also i have lots to do today so i read and did my devotion and then cleaned up a little bit made coffee drank coffee i'm trying to get into it more so i had like half a cup and then now i'm just at my desk obviously and looking at my to-do list i've been using this little planner that i got for christmas and a lot of schoolwork to do today actually i was trying to get it all done during the week and it's nothing like pressing i just have an exam next week that i want to go ahead and make the study guide for and then also next week i'm going home on thursday so i want to try to get ahead so i don't have to do it while i'm at home so really going to try to grind some schoolwork out and then i also have bracelet orders to make for my jewelry account beads by addy t if you want a bracelet um but i have two orders that i need to make for those i need to run to the post office the grocery store work out and i don't know just thought i would do a little weekend in my life um not super eventful but still fun to take you along so it's now a lot later it's 12 37 and i wish i could be saying i've been doing fun stuff but pretty much just been right here doing schoolwork i'm really starting to get overwhelmed because i have a big earth science exam that opens up um on monday and it's due sunday so i have like all week to work on it but i want to get it done early because i'm going home next weekend so i don't want to have to worry about it but it's also like i've been taking notes for it all week and i don't feel very prepared it's just like a lot of work so i kind of i really should have thought how to break down but i'm feeling a little better now because i went through all my classes um, like on my school page and wrote down every assignment I have for this week. It might seem like a lot, but I Some of them won't, won't take that long. Hopefully some of them are a lot But I just wrote it by category each thing that I have to do and then my geography class Which is my fifth class doesn't even have anything this week. So kind of I feel a little better writing all this down because I don't know It at least just helps me like visualize what all I'm gonna be doing Am I going to be able to get my work done in time? What my time commitment going to look like? Because my goal is to finish it all by Thursday. So I don't have to worry about it over the weekend. And I don't know. I don't want to stress myself out too much. But I also really want to enjoy a good long weekend at my house. Just to have a break from college. So I don't know. Sometimes I think I stress myself out too much. And then sometimes I really feel valid for doing it like i feel like i have a lot of work so i don't know anyway all that rambling aside like i said it's almost one and i've just been in the house all day so i think i'm going to go to the post office to get some stamps because i need to ship out some bracelet orders and then while i'm there the post office is right by kroger and i need to get toilet paper and then i kind of want kombucha my outfit is not really that cute. Um, these joggers are from Old Navy. And then this sweatshirt is from PacSun. I got it for Christmas. Oh my gosh, look at all this dust. Yuck. I have not wiped it off since I got back from break. Um, but I love this sweatshirt. I wear it too much, honestly. And then just my Adidas. <laughs> I just got out of Kroger and I thought I would do very mini haul, not very interesting. I've really been trying to get better at spending money and not just going to Kroger all the time. So I didn't get that much, which I'm proud of myself for. So I found these on sale, just some pistachios. They were 25 cents. I don't know, I just saw them. This on sale, which I've never tried before, it's the Love Grown Chocolate Toasted Granola. It was $2.39 and I've never tried it before so I'm gonna try this with like my um, parfait bowls and stuff and then I got some toilet paper because I'm out at my apartment and then lastly is a kombucha so 
very small, like I said, but I'm gonna run to the post office now because I have this package to drop off for a bracelet order and then probably go on a walk because I have not really moved very much today. Just got home, unloaded my stuff, and I'm making a few bracelets right now. Like I said, I have some to make for my little jewelry company, so a girl ordered this stack. So two with the colorful and gold hearts and then one with the gold and the gold heart. So working on these while I do it, I've been watching some YouTube videos. And then I think after I'm done, I'm gonna go for a run. So I finished making those bracelets and then changed as you can tell and I'm putting my shoes on. I just have on some leggings. I'm gonna go for probably just a two mile run. Um, it's like 56 outside, so I'm not too cold, but I'm probably gonna bring like a long sleeve or something. And then I'm also bringing this coat because while I'm already out there at the lake, I'm just gonna walk a little bit because I think I'm gonna call my mom and catch up with her. I haven't talked to her in a few days. And something I've been into recently is just walking while I'm on the phone with like my parents or my grandmother, whatever, because I feel like I just sit all the time anyway. Like today, I was sitting at my desk doing schoolwork, sitting in the car driving, sitting at my desk making bracelets, laying on my bed doing schoolwork, and I hate just always sitting I hate it so one of my new year's goals was to go on more walks and that's just a way that I'm getting steps in so while I'm calling them while I'm on the phone with them I will just walk either around my neighborhood or around the lake or whatever so I think I'm gonna run and then walk like I said I think it's just me here I my roommates were here earlier today but they all went home for the weekend so it'll just be me tonight I did get some done um I did get one thing fully done and then started on the next thing, but I'm going to try to work on that a little more. I also want to record an episode of my podcast because I haven't recorded in forever, but I have like an outline for it. So I might do that, especially since I won't be like bothering anyone talking um, since no one will be here. We'll see. It's only 3.22 now, so I still have lots of the day left. Just finished my run. It actually feels pretty good out here. I thought it was going to be really cold, but I wasn't. I felt good, and then I was going to do two, and then I ended up doing three because my legs just felt good, so I was thankful. Oh my gosh, I'm literally the worst. Um, I have not recorded in forever. It's now 7.10. It's now 7.10, and the last I updated was at like 4 when I was going around the lake. I... Got back home and I just started feeling really, really stressed and overwhelmed. I don't know why, just with all my school stuff and then uh, my roommates are all gone and it's just me alone here and so I kind of get sad. Talked to my dad on the phone for like an hour, then my mom for 45 minutes. And so now it's 7-Eleven um, and I haven't done anything the rest of the afternoon now i'm about to record a podcast episode if you don't know i started a podcast last year called seasons podcast and i haven't recorded in a while since february to be exact but i am about to do an episode when i'm at home i can use my dad's fancy equipment but when i'm here i just use this mic and it doesn't sound the best but it's not really that bad and then i have the layout on a google docs on my computer so i'm gonna record an episode and then i think facetime my sister later it's just been one of those nights okay i'm feeling a lot better now thank goodness it's 9 23 i recorded my podcast episode which i'm really happy about it honestly went a lot better than i thought it would i was wondering if i was gonna have to be like doing mo uh doing multiple takes of it and like going to be trying to edit it a lot and stuff because the podcast I've done in the past I will take deep breaths and stuff that I have to edit out and it just takes so long and I haven't edited it yet but I think it went well I feel like it flowed well it's going to be about my 2020 recap and then 2021 goals and resolutions and stuff so be on the lookout for that and then I FaceTime my sister for over an hour. We're doing a podcast episode together when I go home next weekend. So we planned for that, caught up, and it was good to talk to her. So I just lit my candle and I'm about to 
do some journaling of course do this every night and probably watch something while i do it oh i was gonna share the book i've been reading recently it's called a prisoner of birth and it looks kind of weird like this isn't the type of book i'd usually gravitate towards but my dad recommended it and it's kind of like a modern retelling of count of monte cristo but with a lot more twists in the end and like adding on to the story so it's good i stopped right here so i don't know what is that two-thirds done probably so i'm gonna journal and read uh, my camera's battery is blinking and i'm just gonna end today here but if i do anything fun tomorrow i'll definitely bring you along good night good morning everyone happy sunday it's like what is it 9 15 right now i've been up since like 8 i read and journaled did my devotion drink some water just clean my room a little bit just been chilling i'm about to get in the shower because i need to get ready for church um it's not till 10 30 my cousin is coming to pick me up and we're gonna go to church together so need to get ready for that i just thought i would start the vlog i just straightened my hair took it oh took a shower straightened my hair and got ready for church i put these little clips in i don't know if i'm gonna keep it like this i think i like it but i might do that or a braid in it um i thought i'd show my outfit these jeans i just got from american eagle they're the 90s boyfriend jeans and this is probably my favorite style from american eagle jeans they're so comfortable these nike air forces and then this sweater is so old it's from asos i'm pretty sure um so for some reason these jeans are a lot baggier than i remember i thought i got uh, when the last time i tried them on they did i did not think they were this baggy in the crotch and i already took the tags off but maybe after i wash them they'll like shrink up a little bit I'm the hungriest kid though. Oh my gosh. I am finally back home from church. That took much longer than I thought it would. It's already 2.45, which I'm like trying not to get stressed because I feel like half my day is already gone. Um, church was at 11, but it was 30 minutes away. So my cousin Molly picked me up at 10.30. We went to church and then it was a new church I hadn't ever gone to before um, in like a different town. And then we went to lunch and we couldn't decide on where to eat and I was just like ready to get back. But there was other people with us, like not just my cousin. And so then we went to Bulldog Burger and there was like a 30 minute wait and then we still had to order and get our food and it took so long to get our check and now it's almost three. And I have lots to do, so I changed into some comfy clothes, some joggers, or these are like sweatpants and a sweatshirt. Not looking very cute, but I need to get started on my schoolwork, and I might stay here and do a little bit of it, but I'm probably gonna go to a coffee shop because I always feel like more productive when I'm like in the coffee shop setting, you know? Um, but it's also, I just wanna stay in bed because it's a rainy Sunday and I'm full from lunch and I just wanna chill for a minute. Oh my gosh, it is now 5.06 and I have just been working on my earth science stuff for literally two hours now. I'm going to stop and move on to a different subject because I still have other stuff that I want to do. It's just taking so long. I was going to go to a coffee shop and then it's just raining and dreary and I didn't feel like getting out and my bed is very comfy. So just been doing it from here, but I'm starting to get like... I don't know if anxious is the right word, but sometimes when I'm just like on my computer for so long, I get really restless and I want to go on a walk, but it's raining obviously. So I'm probably going to switch to a different subject and do that for like an hour and then do a Pilates workout because I want to do a video that I saw on YouTube. Okay, I'm so done with school for now. I just took some marketing notes and read half of the chapter, so at least a little progress. Now I'm about to do this Pilates workout and I don't know if this is weird, but I think I'm going to do it in my closet because like, okay, I need to put this up but my closet's actually pretty big and so I'll usually just set it right here and I have like my own little 
workout space to do it. I changed into some shorts. And this is, I just looked up Pop Sugar because I like their videos. Pop Sugar Pilates. And then this one has cardio um, and full body, which will also be nice because I just, I'm so sick of sitting all day. Like, I feel like I've barely had any movement today. I wanted to go on a walk, but it was too rainy. And I mean, we basically sat in the car on the way to church sat at church sat in the car on the way back sat at supper i mean at lunch and then i've been sitting <sighs> doing schoolwork so i need to move a little bit just stretch it out i just finished that workout and i'm so glad i did it oh i feel so much better it was only 30 minutes but it made such a big difference it was not too high intense but it still like got me a little bit sweaty and then there was like some abs and bodies at the end so i really enjoyed that if you have if you're looking for a good workout to do i can link it down below but so good um now i'm about to make some supper it's 701 i'm not super hungry because lunch filled me up and my stomach just kind of fell off but i also have four or three of these sweet potatoes and i think i'm gonna cut them up and prep them to have them for the week also this avocado has been in the fridge for like over a week now so let's see if it's still any good uh, moment of truth oh it's actually not bad at all it's kind of mushy on the outside so i was expecting it to be worse I think I'm gonna make some toast. Just took the toast out of the oven. I used this, um, what is it? Sprouted grain Ezekiel bread. This is the first time I've gotten this before, but it's really good. This has really simple ingredients that are easy on my stomach. And then I took about half of an avocado and mashed it up with some olive oil. And then this, everything but the bagel seasoning. So I'm about to put this on here. Then something else I've been doing recently is putting a little bit of garlic powder on top and secret ingredient, honey. I don't know if this sounds weird. I've been seeing it on Instagram, people on YouTube talking about it. Thought I would try it and it's actually pretty good. It's a very unique taste. So just going through with a little bit of garlic powder. You don't want too much. Drizzled over the top. And then a little dash of salt. And now the secret ingredient. You literally just go lightly drizzled all over the top. And there you go. I'm now prepping my sweet potatoes. I ended up just waiting and I'm not gonna cut this one because I'm going home this week so I don't wanna have too much. And I can save it for later, but one I did into cubes and I just put olive oil, salt, some cumin, might put a little paprika and then garlic. So I'm gonna stir these up, put them on the pan and then also made some garlic, I mean um, sweet potato fries as well. Okay, the oven is preheated, and these are about to go in. I actually made a lot for just two sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes just came out of the oven. They taste really good. I just tried one. They're not super crispy. I don't know why. I can never get them to be, like, crispy, like actual fries, but taste really good. And then I also just peeled some oranges and just have them in this Tupperware. I kind of like doing this at the beginning of the week. I guess Sunday, end of the week, whatever, to have on hand. So if I'm like running to class and want a snack, I have oranges. If I want to throw something together with sweet potatoes, I already have it prepped. And then speaking of, this looks kind of gross, I know, but this is banana, protein powder, honey, oats, and peanut butter. And I'm making some little um, like breakfast cookies kind of and going to cook these as well. I just had a nice little planning session. I love doing this at the end of every week to try to get me at least somewhat on track for the week ahead. And it's also kind of a condensed week for me since I'm going home on Thursday. So I kind of showed it before, but I just did this little weekly overview. Um, I don't really have any specific times for stuff except spin classes. Um, cause, and then just like my actual in-person classes and then came up with some things to do this week my habit tracker um some things for the menu this week i'm gonna try to make some recipes that i saw on pinterest 
um, this Brussels sprouts sweet potato and avocado wrap I saw I think on Pinterest or maybe TikTok and it looked really good so I'm gonna try to have that tomorrow um, and then like I said this will all be at home so I'm not really sure and then plan my day for tomorrow I'm still going through and writing out a schedule because I don't have classes tomorrow but I have lots of schoolwork so I think I'm gonna wake up and do my morning routine and go to the coffee shop to try to get stuff done um and then this is my stuff to do like from here to here is schoolwork and then these are some like side things my workout meals and then um i was basing it off of this i think i showed this earlier these are all the school things i need to do and then i also went in and did some like other stuff non-school related like podcasts baking stuff like that and then my workout plan for the week. So I don't always follow everything that I plan out. Like I'm sure I'll get off track on my workouts. I'm not going to commit to eating every single one of these meals every day. Because it always changes. But it just kind of helps me feel put together to ride it out the night before. My bed's messy. But doesn't this just look so cozy? Oh my gosh. My bed is so comfy here. That's probably my favorite part about my apartment and i'm gonna read that but first i'm going to read in psalms i've been reading five psalms each night and journaling as i go also i don't know what i got on my bible but I'm gonna do some reading in here and probably go to sleep i also might call my dad too because we haven't talked today that being said i'm just gonna go ahead and end the vlog here sorry it was kind of boring i just thought i would randomly vlog and do a college weekend in my life but then i didn't realize how freaking boring it would be because basically all i did was schoolwork and didn't really hang out with friends or anything so that's what college is for me i feel like i always saw people's college vlogs and not compared myself i mean sometimes but just would wonder like why is my college experience so different like why are my weekends filled with schoolwork why am i lonely sometimes i don't know so i just want to be real that's how it has been recently but i've also learned the importance of taking time for myself and being okay with being alone and seeing how i can use that time to spend time with the lord and talk to my family and read do stuff on my own so that was a ramble but thank you so much for watching subscribe down below you can follow me on instagram everything's linked in the description and i'll see you in my next video bye